Hey there, how you doing? Coming to you from the engine room on New Horizons. This is a part of the boat that very rarely shows up on camera because generally we really don't want to spend a lot of time in here. But today I'm doing an oil change. Check it out. Here are the materials you'll need for an oil change. On the right you can see there's a fresh jug of oil. Next to it is a new oil filter and the three jugs on the left are empty to collect the used oil. You'll also need plenty of paper towels to clean up any messes, and an oil sorbent pad to place underneath the main engine once the job is done. This is to absorb any oil or fuel that bleeds out of the engine while it's running. You'll also need some means of extracting the oil from the engine, such as this pump seen here. You can stick it into the dipstick hull and pump the old oil out, but in this video we'll be using the pump seen here, which is attached to the engine itself. The first step is to start the engine and let it run until it reaches its normal operating temperature, normally about 15 minutes. The purpose of doing this is to warm up the engine oil, which decreases its viscosity, making it easier to work with and extract from the engine. It also helps to lift any particulates that may be sitting at the bottom of the oil pan so that they can be extracted as well with the oil. The next step is to shut off the engine after it has reached its normal operating temperature. Next, you'll extract the oil from the engine, so take one of the empty jugs, place it next to the pump, and start pumping. Once you've pumped all of the oil out of the engine, the next step is to remove the oil filter. You can do this using either a strap wrench or the way I do it. With your bare hands, just squeeze really hard and twist as hard as you can and it'll come off. Now this step can be really messy if your filter is inverted the way mine is. So if anyone knows of a clean way to do this step, please let me know in the comments below. That'll be really, really useful. Then just clean the base where the filter was attached to clean any remaining oil off. Next it's time to fill up the new oil filter with fresh clean oil. So just go ahead and pour some clean oil into the top of the filter and then allow it some time to settle. Um, it helps to turn the filter at a bit of an angle and uh, once it won't accept any more fresh oil, it's good to go. By the way, this oil is the Dello 400 XLE motor oil and in my humble opinion, this is the absolute best oil you can put in a diesel engine. So if you'd like to try it out, click on the link down in the comments below. Uh, that's just one small way that you can really help this channel out. Thanks. So now take the new filter that's filled with fresh oil, invert it, and screw it onto the engine. Try and do this quickly so that the oil doesn't spill out while you're doing it. And you really just want to hand tighten it. Don't use any tools uh, to tighten it on. Now it's time to add the fresh oil into the engine. So just take the cap off at the appropriate spot to fill it and pour in the amount of oil that's recommended by the engine manufacturer.
Now using the dipstick, check the oil level to make sure that it's correct. Now just put the cap back onto the area where you filled the oil. And start the engine up again and let it run until it reaches full operating temperature to spread the new oil around the engine. Congratulations, you've completed the oil change. Well, I hope you found that informative and helpful. If you have any suggestions or questions, please let me know in the comments down below. See you next time.